Good afternoon. Thank you very much for invitation to this uh, uh, club. So the, I'd like to first of all very briefly uh, explain my ma major policies. The first of all, I'm really delighted that Tokyo has been selected as the host city of 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games. I'm hoping to work with all the people of Tokyo and Japan to create the most successful Olympic ever. Now, we are starting to see hopeful and glorious signs for the Japanese economy, which has remained stuck in deflation, as you know, for 20, more than 20 years. I'm confident that I could show people from around the world what a wonderful city Tokyo is. By the best 202 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games ever. However, we face several challenges as we try to improve Tokyo, the most attractive city in the world. One of them is how to deal with the risks of a destructive earthquake, which is anticipated to strike Tokyo sometime in the future. The 70% of probability in 30 years. Uh, in order to protect the lives and the prosperity of the people of Tokyo, I carry out a meticulous disaster preparedness plan and establish a crisis management system. I must do what I can for Tokyo to remain the safest city in the world, the most resi resilient city that can withstand any major natural disasters. The second point, what drove me toward politics, uh, originally speaking, is that uh, experience of caring my aged mother. This experience motivated me to reform the social security system, including nursing care, medical services, pensions, and employment. I will develop uh, Tokyo a friendly place for parents with, with young children, with young children. While I was Minister of Health, Labor, and Welfare, I faced the serious problems posed by the shortage of doctors, for example. To resolve this problem, I launched a policy of initiative to substantially increase the number of doctors. I also improved in the field of nursing care. However, there are still many, okay, you, you hear me? Can, okay. Can everyone hear? Mazel okay, Mazel. okay, no problem. However, there are still many pending problems. Childbirth and child care and medical services, nursing care, employment and pensions. Uh, there are all issues that, uh, are closely related to our everyday life. If I'm create, uh, sorry, if I'm elected Tokyo governor, I will advance the further reform initiatives that I promoted for uh, I as a minister. Uh, security is another critical issue to, <coughs> excuse me, to improve uh, Tokyo even more safe and uh, comfortable place to live. I emphasize the importance of the community bonds and maintain Tokyo's position as one of the safest metropolitan metro, metropolitan cities in the world. Now, uh, third point: as for the issues of energy supply, anyway, you ask me many questions about this issue. Uh, so I first found beforehand I explained. I have visited Fukushima many, many times since the Great East Japan earthquake, we should seek for reducing our dependence on nuclear power. This is, you know, I'm confident about that. For this, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, for this mom moment, the important, th the important thing is make every single possible effort to ensure the safety of nuclear power, nuclear pl plant. Electricity is essential to our everyday life, civilized life, if you like. And Tokyo is the largest consumer 
of electricity. As such, Tokyo owes much to Fukushima and Niigata. From both prefectures, we receive now, as you know, Fukushima has many stopped you. From these prefectures, we receive electricity generated by nuclear power plant. I'm planning to raise the proportions, proportion of renewable energy in Tokyo's energy consumption. Now, it's only 6%, from 6% to 20%. As a user of electricity, all of us should make efforts to reduce our dependence on nuclear power. Now, uh,